Greetings, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Tuesday of Holy Week. Uh, this Holy Week, uh, we reflect on the last week of Jesus's life before the cross. Um, John 12 uh, is jo sort of John's version of these things. It's a little bit different from the other uh, Gospels, but in, in John 12, uh, Jesus talks about what happens if, if, it, if a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies. Um, and so our theme is, but if it dies. Um, and what, what Jesus is doing here, uh, for John, this is kind of the turning point into Jesus going to the cross. Um, and so John, uh, we'll just look at a, a few verses in this longer passage. So John 12, 24 through 25, Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loses his, loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. And so you see the image he's talking about here. You, you plant a grain of wheat and you bury it, right? And that's the image of death. It's the image of it being put away, buried in the ground, um, and it's, it's virtually dead. Uh, and he, he is picturing then what, what must happen. Uh, what is coming for him, that if he uh, does not die, if he does not suffer and die, then he will remain alone. But if it dies, it will bear much fruit. If, if Christ dies, then he will gather in uh, many brothers and sisters to the kingdom. Um, and, and this, uh, he makes this explicit then later in verses 31 and 32. He says, now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Um, and so on the cross, that's what he means by lifted up. On the cross, Jesus casts out the ruler of this world and draws all people to himself. John has actually used this language. Uh, Jesus has spoken this way before uh, in John's gospel in John 3. There's a story of Moses uh, where the people of Israel were getting attacked by these serpents. And so what uh, Moses did, what God told Moses to do was lift up a serpent on a pole. And when people looked at it, then they would be uh, healed from their, their wounds, uh, from the, the bites of the serpent. Um, and Jesus, Jesus uses this language and this image to picture what he does on the cross. I um, mean, it's very apt. He uh, is lifted up on the cross and as we come to him, as we look at him, the, the poison of the serpent uh, is rendered powerless against us. He was lifted up and he has destroyed the evil one. Uh, he has cast him out uh, and he uh, is drawing all people to himself. Thank you for watching. If you've been blessed by this video, please like, share, and subscribe.